Epstein adds magic to this gentleman has performed all over the world. He comes from Las Vegas. He is hot and he's tearing it up all week long. Unfortunately, this is his last night here. I wish it went on another week at least. Won't you please welcome Gino Minari. Well, you're probably saying, well, not another magician and not another rope trick. Ladies and gentlemen, this next trick was taught to me by Siegfried and Roy. Siegfried Lipschitz and Roy Putz. <laughs> <laughs> They're my butchers. Oh, actually, what's in a name, ladies and gentlemen? You know, when you come here from Las Vegas, uh, you get involved in numbers. With these computers today, everything's a number. Can you imagine me coming out as a number? I'd come out something like this and I'd say, Hello, all you numerous people. <laughs> I'm number 570649574. One six. You call me 16. <laughs> Friends do. I mean, really, isn't that what happens? I, you know, I got on the I-95 freeway, traveling in my Delta 88. <laughs> Went down the freeway, down to 210, down to the 405, down to the 64, the 63, and I finally got pulled over doing 85 and a 45. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful garden spot of the world, Yermo. Isn't that a wonderful scene? <laughs> I mean, they'll, they'll arrest you. What are they doing, Yermo? Look, Harvey, there's a termite. <laughs> uh, seriously, and anyway, this cop pulls me over and he says, where, where are you going? What's your hurry? And I said, well, I start, now I'm starting to think numbers myself. I'm, I'm an absolute crazy person. I'm talking back to this guy in numbers. I said, well, it's my birthday. And I was 86th out of uh, Baker down the street. And uh, my birthday, 3744. He says, so what? I'm going to write you up. He gives me a 305. So he writes me the ticket, and I'm going, what can you do? You can't say anything. You take the ticket. And I had to come all the way to downtown Los Angeles with that district court uh, three, apartment five, on the second floor, the fourth elevator. you got to park on 4th Street. you got to get on the 6th Street off ramp. It's cra this is crazy. So I go up and see the judge, and at this point, I am fuming. I mean, you know, here I am, a visitor to your wonderful city. Shaky City, they call it, I think. <laughs> they call Las Vegas Sin City. Anyway, I go up to see Judge 99, and he says to me, $50 or 10 days. I got so mad. You know what I did? I called him a dirty number. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do this rope. We're not going to do a rope trick. We're really not. I think a rope trick set back magic 50 or 60 or maybe even 70 years. So we're going to do some magic here if we can. Uh, let's do something with the rope. So let's just throw the rope out, okay? Let's throw the rope out. Who catches the rope? We got the rope. It's a sneaky way to get somebody on stage. Come on up. Come on right up. Come on right up. Come on right, up. Stand right over here. Give her a round of applause, ladies. You are doing absolutely fine. Hold on to that rope. Do you like that rope? Sure. <laughs> Much like the one you have at home, isn't it? <laughs> no comments, she says. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, what I, well, I purposely didn't introduce her to myself. I don't want to know her name because I'm the magician. So I'm going to do some ESP and some magic here. And maybe I can define exactly who she is and what she does. Uh, let's just give you the first test. Can I put the rope down, by the way? Sure. Unless you really want to hold it. No. Let's try the first test. Do you have any idea what I have on the back of this card? You're correct. No. <laughs> well, that's, that's the easy way out. That's terrible. Who's got a, a ballpoint pen I can borrow? Anybody got a ballpoint pen? A ballpoint pen that works. Not one of those uh, fancy ones, because I mean, I'd give it back to you. Oh, boy, this is hard. No one can buy us one right here. Thank you. Oh, it's a Gucci pick. <laughs> now what we're going to do here, uh, we, haven't, we haven't talked, I'm Gino, don't tell me your name, don't, don't utter it out of your mouth, don't even whisper it. Okay, and what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to concentrate on your first and your last name. Now concentrate on the initials. Now if your name was Sally Struthers, you'd say SS for Sally Struthers, right? That would be your initials. And I also would like you to think of a playing card, any playing card in the deck. Don't think of the ace of spades, okay? That's the easy one. But think of a playing card in the deck and your initials. Okay, now look at me just like this. Look at the bridge of my nose. Do you believe in hypnosis? No. Anytime, <laughs> anytime you want to go under, you can go under it anytime you wish. You can go right under just like that. Now look, you look at my bridge, I'll just give you a speed hypnosis. It'll go this fast. Watch right here. Boom. Now, the same, the same thing can happen to you. Now, 
we're not, we're, 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 we're gonna get serious. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's all concentrate on your initials. Concentrate, close your eyes just for a second. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. And a playing card, okay? Let me do some writing. A little writing music. Would you just hold this? Hold this just for a second. I may need it again. Don't give it back to me yet. Uh, would you please hold your right hand out? Hold it out nice. Thank you. Aren't women good at this? <laughs> Natural instinct. I mean, you know, uh, she probably has a couple of sisters called Give Me, Buy Me, Take Me. <laughs> she probably works at Lend Me, Spend Me, and Rent Me. Anyway, okay, I've written this down. I'm going to put this in the back of your hand. Don't say anything at all. This is real serious. Got this in the Remco Magic set. Okay, here we go. The first thing that came into my mind was the initial L. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Was that truthfully? Well, it depends. Oh, first, or last. first initial was L. Is that right? It's wrong. Oh, Christ. What, what are your initials? RL. Oh, my God. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try to get the second part of this trick right. Uh, what card were you thinking of? Ten of diamonds. Oh, ten of diamonds? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, you can't get everything right, can you? <laughs> Who's got that pin? Can I borrow that pin again? <laughs> no, I really don't need the pin. I really don't need the pin. Uh, you know what I'll do? Can I start over? Sure. You can put your hand down, by the way. Uh, I'm just going to rip this one up here, throw it away. It seems to me like when I was driving down here from Las Vegas, I left an envelope in my pocket here someplace. I think I have an envelope someplace. Yes, I do have an envelope. I have one envelope from uh, my last trip from Japan Airlines. See if that envelope is sealed, please. Mm -hmm. Is it sealed completely? It's sealed. Completely. Let somebody else take a look. Is that sealed completely, sir? Take a look. Not a doubt. Is it sealed completely? Sealed. All the way around? Sealed. It's completely sealed. Would you do me a favor? Rip it right open. Hold it up to the light. Just rip it right open. Don't be afraid. Open it up. Rip it right open. And take out what's inside. Hermetically sealed, by the way. <laughs> what does that say? RL 10D. RL 10 of diamonds. Thank you. Let me ask you one question. Wouldn't that be something if I had one card in my, my pocket that matched that? I only have one. Let's make sure it's empty. That's all I want to see. I only have one card in my empty pocket. If that's a ten of diamonds, would that be a pretty good trick? Maybe so. <laughs>